Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. I'm your host, Adeze Adwaka, and these are the headlines. Iabo Ojo confirms daughter Priscilla's engagement to Tanzanian lover. Priscilla Ojo and Tanzanian boo spotted at Mo Abudu's fashion event. Megan the Stallion claims she has no idea what started the intense Nicki Minaj feud. Shane debuts new Evolu Shane and Anita collection, spotlighting eight independent fashion designers. And Beyonce, Megan Thee Stallion and Glorilla match in all white outfits ahead of Labor Day weekend. And on our trending segment, social media has been abuzz with speculations that Nollywood actress Iyabo Ojo's daughter Priscilla is set to get married. Now, the actress has affirmed the rumors herself. On September 2nd, 2024, Iyabo Ojo took to Instagram and posted a video of Priscilla and Juma Juke's pre-wedding photo shoot and expressed her excitement about becoming the mother of the bride. She wrote in her caption, hashtag JP, love you both. Her post was welcomed with widespread joy and support from her followers, fans and fellow celebrities who were excited about Priscilla's impending nuptials. The comments section overflowed with congratulatory messages, goodwill and prayers for the family and the happy couple. Well, 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 hmm. You know, at first I thought it was publicity stunt when Priscilla went to Juma Juke's um, country to like, you know, have a vacation and all of that. I thought maybe the Tanzanian singer wanted to just promote his music and all of that. But now it seems like things are getting really serious because <laughs> the welcome party that Priscilla and her mom threw for Juma it was, I mean, kind of different. It was looking like one, you know, king just arrived in Nigeria. So they threw him a really big birthday bash. She even prepared special delicacy for him when he came and all of that. So guys, as you can see, it's not just dating. This has surpassed dating now. And then it's been confirmed that they're actually engaged to be married. Because I know that there's no way Priscilla or her mother will put out, you know, someone out there on social media when, you know, there's no future intended, right? Maybe there's no marriage in sight. Me, myself, I can't just come out and post a man publicly for the world to see when I know that, okay, there's no marriage happening anytime soon. So I guess it's actually real now. It's not actually a publicity stunt these two are actually very in love and you know it shows in all of their photos and videos and they are now engaged to be married so a big congratulations to priscilla and jimmy jukes and on our editorial segment megan the stallion is unsure if she and Nicki minaj can ever reconcile because she doesn't know why they're feuding i still to this day don't know what the problem is the savage rapper said of her beef with the barbie world mc during a new cover interview in january megan seemingly took a jab at nikki's sex offender husband kenneth petty with the release of her number one single hiss in the song she rapped these girls don't be mad at Megan. These girls mad at Megan's law. Megan's law is the name of a federal law in the US that requires a law enforcement authorities to make information available to the public regarding registered sex offenders. When asked during the interview if she felt the song started this in 2024, she replied, I would like to think that I start things. I don't know. I just knew what I had to do and what I had to say. Megan, 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 hmm, don't start trouble. Don't start a fight if you know you're not ready to take the hit, right? How can you come out and put out a song like that, you know, about your fellow rapper? Or even though maybe you didn't have her in your mind when you were putting out that music, but come on, you know that people are going to talk about it. You know that people will think you're talking about Nikki or her husband. So you cannot tell me that after putting that song, you're expecting that Nikki will come and hug you and kiss you and say, oh, let's be friends or, you know, hang out with you and call you her buddy. Of course not. So if you want to correct that impression, you should have used that lyrics to like say, OK, no, I wasn't talking about, you know, her. I was, you know, just trying to fight a course or just find a way to just make the whole thing look like it wasn't meant for her, because trust me, if you know someone i'm in the same industry with if especially if we are both rappers and then you come in your song and you say something like that i'll directly think you're talking about me you know i'll definitely think you're talking about me or my husband and this whole kenneth petty thing i don't know it just always always comes back to backfire at Nicki minaj all the time so i think Nicki is just like mm, girl I know you said this thing about me, so just stay away from me. I don't want to be friends with someone who will be shading me or my husband on the side. So I think that's, you know, what Nicki Minaj is kind of trying to do. She's just trying to stay off 
you know, people that she feels are fake friends or people who say things behind her come to laugh behind, you know, her back. So next time when you want to put out a song or do whatever, just be mindful of what you're saying, to be honest. Because if I were Nikki, I think I'll just do the same thing. Take a jab at me, I stay away from you, period. <laughs> And on our new collection, global fashion and lifestyle online retailer Shane has partnered with Brazilian pop superstar and fashion icon Anita to launch the newest purposeful product collection, Evolu Shane X. Anita selected eight independent designers from Shane X, Shane's program to support independent brands, artists and designers to co-design the collection. This collection marks a significant milestone on the Shane's Evolution by Design Initiative, the 75-piece collection which was previewed last evening at an intimate gathering in New York City, is available in extended sizes and features dresses, two-piece sets, skirts, bodysuits, tops and bottoms. I am definitely a Shane fan, right? They are so good with their dresses. And I think it's also kind of affordable for a lot of people. It's not really high end and it's not cheap. It's kind of in the middle range. So I'm really looking forward to this collection. And then also having Supermodel Anita on it, I think it will make a lot of people really buy it because then Shane speaks to, you know, people of different sizes, people of different races. I've seen white people wear it. I've seen Latinas. I've seen, you know, Africans wear Shane. So really looking forward to this collection. I'm forever a Shane girly. Their dresses are so beautiful. In fact, their material, everything about Shane is really beautiful. Very colorful, beautiful pieces that they always put out there. So yeah, looking forward to it. And on Spicy or Not, Beyonce, Megan Thee Stallion and Glorilla linked up ahead of the holiday weekend. Beyonce shared pictures of their latest meetup, which appears to have been at an event celebrating her new whiskey brand, Sir Davis, on Instagram on Friday. Captioning the photo set with only a white heart emoji, in the second slide, the trio coordinated in ivory while striking poses. Beyonce, who collaborated with Megan on her 2020 Savage remix, wore a custom Le Fleur mini dress and headpiece made of antique lace and crochet fabric. Megan went for a flirty white mini dress with a plunging neckline and side cutouts, and Glorilla opted for a white lace cut suit and matching Dolce and Gabbana mini bag. Talk about girl power. When I saw that photo, I was so excited, especially for Glorilla, because I saw a podcast where Glorilla and, you know, Megan the Stallion were just hyping up Beyonce, talking about how they love her so much, how she's a legend, how Glorilla could not wait to, like, you know, catch up with her and spend some time with her. And Beyonce made that happen. That photo really sparked a lot of conversations on Instagram. Even when I saw the photo, I had no choice but to just comment and say, Yay, I'm happy for my girl, Glorilla and Megan. And you know, Megan has always been a fan of Beyonce. She has never hidden that. And they, I think they're really, really cool. Aside, you know, having Megan on, you know, the remix of a song, I think they're also really cool. Even though Beyonce doesn't really come out so much to talk about her friendships and you don't really see her outside that often. The only time you see Beyonce outside is either maybe she's at a party of her launch of a product or she's going for an exclusive event you know where she's invited with her husband jay-z so this was a really cool girl photo that is out on instagram and making waves really happy for glorilla and you know megan meeting beyonce the queen queen b that was really iconic and you know really happy for them and is giving girl power don't forget to catch us up at spice tv underscore africa until the next episode, to have a lovely time. Bye.